Today we discuss the Ford 4000 Utility Tractor 1968-1975 edition. Stick around to learn more. The Ford 4000 utility tractors were produced from 1962 to 1975 in the United States at the Highland Park, Michigan factory. Between the 2000 and 4000 series tractors, 38,931 were produced during this time. The tractors are broken into three main lines, the 1962 to 1965 line, the 1965 to 1968 line and the latest line of 1968 to 1975. Each has different specifications. This video will focus on the 1968-1975 tractor. The Ford 4000 produced during 1968-1975 was an entirely new machine compared to the previous 801 generation. Ford offered three variants during these model years. The 4100 model, the 4200 row crop and the 4200 SU special utility. The tractor came with two transmission options, 8-speed and 10-speed select O-speed power shift. The 8-speed offered 8 forward gears and 2 reverse. This produced a maximum forward speed of 16.8 miles per hour and 8.1 miles per hour in reverse. The tractor must be stopped before shifting between gears. The 10-speed transmission offered 10 forward gears and 2 reverse. The top forward moving speed was 17.6 miles per hour and 5.1 miles per hour in reverse. This transmission allowed for shifting while moving. The Ford 4000 series engine was built with either a 3.3-liter 3-cylinder 201 cubic inch gasoline engine or a 3.3-liter 3-cylinder 201 cubic inch diesel engine. The fuel tank held 16 gallons of fuel. The engine produced an estimated 57 horsepower for the diesel and 56.5 horsepower for the gasoline engine. The drawbar tested at 47.57 horsepower. The PTO was off the transmission and claimed 52 horsepower, but tested at 52.57 horsepower. An independent PTO was an option. The PTO operated between 540 and 1000 RPM. With the engine running at 1800 RPM, the PTO produced 540 RPM. With the engine at 1950 RPM, the PTO produced 1000 RPM. The rear hitch was rated to lift 3,200 pounds and supported both Category 1 and 2 implements. It had two settings, position and draft control. The tractor was also rated for a four-bottom plow. The hydraulic system was open center. The pump was continually pumping oil through the system. When a component needed power, a solenoid redirected the oil flow. The hydraulic oil capacity was 8.4 gallons on transmission PTO versions and 8.1 gallons on the independent PTO models. The system produced 2,500 pounds per square inch and 800 pounds per square inch for the power steering equipped models. The tractors were a two-wheel drive tractor, with manual steering and no cabin for the operator. Power steering was available as an option. The rear brakes utilized mechanical wet disc braking for stopping power. The tractor also had a front end loader attachment available as well. The tractor generally weighed roughly 4,885 pounds depending on model and features. Ballasted, the tractor could weigh as much as 8,215 pounds. The wheelbase was 84.5 inches. The front tire size was 616 and the rear was 12.438 from the factory with agriculture tires. The electrical system on the tractor utilized a 12-volt negative ground configuration. Each had an onboard generator for charging. Thank you for watching this video. Please help support us by clicking like and subscribe. Please visit the links in the description, this also helps support this channel and allow us to come out with more content.